shrug off the nearly man tag. Hugely talented, has come close to qualifying for big events, has experience of playing in the last day at Desert Classic a few years back, but uh, a prized place at the World Championship at the Alexandra Palace is, is the stuff that darting dreams are made of. Well, White winning the early battle of the nickname, certainly the great white shark, far superior to Davy Boy, I would suggest, but sadly doesn't really make much of a difference on the dartboard. 54. Looks like a man on a mission, certainly, when we heard from him after his quarter-final win, White. He was talking about showing a few people, proving them wrong, ramming a few words down folks' throats. Has had this nearly man of American darts tag for a number of years, but we've not seen him at the seconds. World Championship, and he's just 12 legs away from being there. Richardson, the Canadian One via hundred. Scotland, who has played at the World Championship. It's a curious coincidence, isn't it, that these two guys, their, their biggest stage games in PDC Dark have both been ended by the same man, Andy the Hammer Hamilton. Yep. And Richardson came close to beating Hamilton, didn't he, on the big stage at the Alley Pally a couple of years ago? Yeah, he was 2-1 up, lost it 3-2 in the end. Not much in the averages in that game. It was about 86 plays, 90. Certainly gave him a game. and. But we know what a tough competitor the hammer is. Maybe we've got 84. 84 for Richardson to see off this first leg. Has to go 14 balls out here. Has to. Oh, and he's just strayed into the treble nine. Still a big ask for White. But the biggest ask of all has already been achieved by White here in Vegas. Hitting the jackpot with a 170 out in his quarter-final win Sixty-four. well that leaves him double ten the likelihood is Richardson returns to have a go at it and he will return to have a go at it double ten for a break of throw for Davy Boy Richardson 61. Maybe required 20. Finishing was superb in the quarterfinal, and no reason to believe it won't be any different here. Indifferent from White. Crucial break for Richardson in the very first leg of this semi final. Format the same all the way through. Best of 11, first to six, and he's bang on the money here in Vegas. 140. It's a matchup between two guys who won a qualifying event to be here, rather than being on the order of merit over the four qualifiers we've had over the last couple of days. So they know what it takes to go on and win a tournament this week here in Vegas. Got that mindset. And the wins that Richardson pulled out in the third qualifying event, beat John Park, beat Widmeyer, beat Jeff Smith, beat Dawson Merchell. I mean, obviously, they're some of the biggest names in informed players that we've had here this week and he knows what it's like to beat them back to back to back 100. interesting we've just seen a fabulous quarter final young dawson michelle beating 60. david cameron in the last leg decider in the in the final qualifier uh yesterday here in vegas uh michelle needed uh, cameron to win the final to secure that last playoff spot. If Cameron had lost, Michelle was out. Couldn't look, head in hands, back turned. 121. Yeah, I think the guy called Chuck Puglio was playing That's in right. the final. Had he won it, he'd have been in. Michelle out. And Cameron would have qualified on the order of merit, but as it is, it could be that little bit of luck that proves to be life-changing for Dawson Michelle. Richardson, 125. Trouble 20 for top. Not to be. 48. Chance to hit straight back. White made a, a, a slow start in his quarterfinal. That's a beauty. 
And so's that. 14 dart leg to break straight back for Chris White. Good leg, Chris. Yeah, it took him nine darts to hit a double. Well, nine misses and then hitting with a tenth in his first round, first round game. Or quarter finals, if you like. No such problem this time around for the great white shark. Forty one. Ten thousand dollars as well for the eventual winner. Plus that place at the Alexandra Palace. Lovely darts from Richardson. Had the draw a little later as well for the US Masters. Friday and Saturday here at the Tropicana, the latest World Series event. The eight players that we've seen today in the North American Championship will be back on Friday to play the big boys from the PDC in the first round of the first ever US Darts Masters. And I think we've seen enough to suggest that if any of the top boys are not on their game, they could be in a spot of bother. Absolutely. 42. They're not going to be terrified of what they've seen today. Not yet, at any rate. But if they're not on their metal, these guys have shown that they can cause them problems. And, of course, they'll have had the experience of playing on this stage the day before as well. well Richardson outscoring White. 97 average, four 140s. White yet to hit. 137. A 140 plus the 137 for White, but Richardson needing 137. 59. Well, we could well see a third consecutive break of throw here. We thought this might be a battle of Chris White scoring against David Richardson's finishing. He's not been like that first two and a half leg. 12 scored, 66, so he has to go 16 ball. White on a finish, he has to give himself a dart for the leg. And he has done that, but it's the smallest target on the board. And he pins it anyway, 78 check out on the ball for Richardson, 2-1. Full flag day to throw first. have to say, all in all, fantastic experience today. I think we all came wondering exactly what it, 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 it was going to be like. Uh, nearly a full house inside the... The venue here at the Tropicana Hotel in Vegas and the, the standard of darts has been has been really, really good, you have to say. We've seen some terrific performances. We've nearly seen a comeback. We've seen some brilliant finishing, some big finishing. Well, just the, the roar that went up ahead of the 11th and final leg in that Dawson Merchell victory there. The fans here have completely bought into this. And sporadically, they've been given some pretty special stuff to cheer. Thoroughly enjoyable day here in Vegas. But who ultimately will be the man with his hand on the jackpot and a place at the World Championship? Well, it's not the man, Sean Brenneman, because he was knocked out in the quarterfinals by Dave Richardson. Hello, beaten 6-1 boy. Chris White in his quarterfinal. Now. It certainly won't be me either. <laughs> After my experience on the blackjack table so far. 174 to leave 32. Talking of top quality darts, 98 average. This is some performance from Richardson. First dart at double, he's missed. But it does not matter because he takes it out in that visit. We've got daylight between these two. 3-1. And Richardson is halfway to a place in the final. Yeah, really enjoyable. To be fair, break even at Blackjack. Which I think if you come to Vegas and you break even, you're doing well. It sounds like a, a man trying to convince himself there, Steve. 43. I think you feel that, that White has to, to take this. He'll be hugely disappointed because he played so well in the quarterfinals. And, you know, I did suggest that he was the man to beat on that performance, but he hasn't produced that performance so far. And is it going to be a case of 58. the darting bridesmaid of North America yet again? That title will go to Chris White. Well, the slight difference of the semi finals, we have got a break after five legs, and we do know 
from past experience, those breaks can change games. It's not been good from Chris White, certainly not as good as we saw earlier on from him. But just a few moments to collect his thoughts may give him a chance to turn this around. And who knows, he could well go in here 3-2 down, which is not the end of the world, particularly considering how he's played and how Richardson is finishing. And only one breakdown, because throwing first, he, I would suggest at this stage he would, he would snap your hand off if you gave him a last leg decider throwing first. Just hasn't had the scoring to really trouble Richardson consistently. 137 is his best score, and here we are in leg five. 100. Richardson needs to stay straight. He's doing a lot better than that. Top 40, leave 60 for a 4 1, a commanding 4 1 lead. Two darts he should get at double top, Dave Richardson. There is some pressure, but is it enough? 20 for tops for Richardson. He's three out of four in his doubles right now. Make that four out of five. Richardson, who finished so superbly in the quarterfinals in a 6-1 win against Sean Brenneman, is 4-1 up on Chris White and two legs away from a place in the final. That would win you most games over this sort of distance. But can Richardson keep it going 39. against an opponent who just hasn't got going? Certainly hasn't. Almost 20 points in the averages. And I was watching Chris White during the break there. He stayed up on stage and he was just staring off into the middle distance. He looked a bit lost. He, he had this opportunity, this break, to compose himself. And he's kicked off 26. Something needs to change drastically and change right now for Chris White and I'm not sure that visit suggests anything is going to change. Looks unlikely, doesn't it? 85. The man who would be king of the North American dart scene looks like falling short again. 59. 80% well, on the doubles would win you. Probably 98% of matches. Well, I mean, over the course of his, his one and a half games so far, Richardson is 10 out of 16, 63%. That's world class. Michael Van Gerwen would be delighted with him. 42. We will be seeing MVG tomorrow, of course. Could be Richardson he faces. I rather think that... 96. Well, let's hope so. That the, the first day of the US darts masters will be the most competitive opening day 100 that we've seen in the four years of the event when home nation qualifiers have, have featured 53 now we've seen some Australians put up some strong performances but be interesting to see if the Americans can now needed another treble 20 to get a dart a double eight but Richardson sets it up and when you're 80% on your doubles, you've got three darts in your hand and you're looking at double top for a 5-1 lead, Chris White must be getting that sinking feeling. To go within one of the final. Is this a lifeline for White? Of course it isn't. What a good dart. Last one in hand. And just for a moment, Chris White's hopes would have been raised. Dashed by one dart. 100. Chris White is a man who's won a PDC affiliated title. Won one in Sacramento a few years back. 140. It's a rather boringly titled one. They've got great, great names for the darts events over here. Like Shoot the Moon and the Cleveland Darts Extravaganza. 140. That's just called Players Championship 7 in UK Open Qualifier 5. 
Amazing. Back to back ton 40s for Davy Boy, though. He is looking to get this done in a hurry. A 6 1 win in the quarterfinals against Sean Brenneman, one of the most consistent players from the qualifiers over the last couple of days. 5 1 up on the man who stormed 60. to the win in the first qualifier. Everything is going well. It's going perfectly nearly for Richardson. Three ton 40s in a row, leaves 81 for a potential 11 data to seal it in style and be the first man through to the final here at the North American Championship. 41. Has the look of a beaten man, Chris White. We're just looking at, at White on 160. 12 for the ball. Uh, he's decided he's going to have to go for it. And that's why, right in the middle. What a way to finish. What a win. What a performance. And Dave Richardson believes he is heading to the World Championship. We shall see. That was a brilliant performance. 67% of the doubles. And Chris White not at the races. Richardson is through to the North American final here in Vegas.